this is Blue Star Warrior 1 here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today I feel led to read Titus, chapter 3. Titus, chapter 3, from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm consistently, that they which, lead, which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is a heretic, after the first and second abomination, reject. Knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself, when I shall send Art Artemis unto thee, or Trichronus to be diligent to come unto me to Nicora Nicolaus, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zaius, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them, and let our, ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. It is written in Titus, ordained the first bishop of the Church of the Creations from Nicopolis of Macedonia. That's right, we shouldn't speak evil of no man. We should speak the truth and, sp and say which, what they've done truthfully. But we shouldn't speak evil of no man, right? like, you know, gossiping and speaking rumors and all these things. So if say someone did commit a crime, you could tell the truth with what the crime is, but don't go over and start adding like your personal details and things like, you know, you know what I mean, like gossips and stuff, to it, just say the crime and specifically. This person stole so-and-so's television set. Or this person broke in and stole this person's so-and-so item or whatever it is or whatever crime they did and just state exactly what they did wrong but don't start saying you know they they wear these t-shirts they do this and that and they don't know how to they don't know how to speak the english language and, and you know blah 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 and start you know bringing up all kinds of things and and all it's you know i mean and then gossiping and you know you go down that road you shouldn't speak of evil of no man. You should just speak the truth. So when it when it comes to crimes, but you shouldn't be gossiping against people. You shouldn't be ha hating against any race of people. There is nobody is perfect, and there are people that you know that are commit sins and and crimes and and bring destruction upon others. Obviously enough, people give in to the evil side. But we shouldn't be hating hating a group of people or even hating that person. Because those people can can be redeemed unless they've taken the mark of the beast. But even so, you shouldn't hate them because hatred clouds up your heart. If you're filled with hate, 
you're going, it's going to build up and you're going to make you a very angry and violent person. You're not going to be happy and you're, you're not, you're not going to be a good, nice person to deal with either. If you're in, in completely filled with hate, you have to forgive people for the wrongs they've done. It could be a doctor who misdiagnosed you with a, with a condition and got you on medications you became addicted to. Or it could be like this, I remember watching one time on um, Medical Mysteries years and years and years ago about this girl that was misdiagnosed and had her arm removed. And she was only like two, three years old and had her arm removed. Her parents had to forgive that doctor for, its, for, his, for their malpractice and removing their child's arm when it was not needed to be. If you can forgive some, forgive a doctor or forgive anyone for, for, you know, that type of harm, for the death of your child or for your child being maimed, you can forgive anybody. Because having a forgiving heart is a good thing because it keeps you pure and innocent and not really pure and innocent, but I'm trying to find the word. It keeps you like uncontaminated. Because if you're sitting there hating and angry all the time against somebody for what they've done, you're not, you're no, you're going to be angry all the time and miserable. Whereas if you're forgiving people, you're going to be at peace and you're going to be happy and you're going to be enjoying your life. Even in this corrupted society and during the tribulation, you're still going to have peace and you're going to be like praising God and singing praises to him and having peace in your heart. So... And we all have given in to diverse lusts and pleasures, and we've hated one another, but we have to ask God to help us learn to forgive those that we hate, or help us let go of our hatred, and we have to ask God for guidance. We have to let go and move on, and we have to ask, you know, repent, and turn away from our sins. Because if we love George, and if you love George, Lord Jesus Christ, with all your heart and soul, you're going to want to give up those sinful nature you're not going to want to hold on to it you're going to want to obey god's law and let go of it all because you love lord jesus christ more than you love those sins you get what i'm saying you're going to love lord jesus christ more than those violent video games more than watching those violent movies more than than going around and, and yelling obscenities at people because of, of whatever whatever because they're wearing a red t-shirt you know what i mean type deal you're going to to let go and move on of those of all of it and just let it all go and give ever and, and, and turn to Lord Jesus Christ because you love Him so much. I hope you understand. Take this up with Lord Jesus Christ. Help Him guide you and help you understand. God, please be with all my subscribers, all my viewers, my parents, and and all their loved ones as well. As long as they've not taken the mark of the beast and if it's in your will and Lord Jesus Christ, my name, Amen, Amen. I think I said that wrong. God, please be with all my subscribers, all my viewers, my loved ones and family members. Please fill them all with the Holy Spirit. Wash them all with Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please lead them all to Lord Jesus Christ. Please bless them all with the heart, healing, deliverance, and need. As long as they have not taken the mark of the beast, and if it is in your will, and Lord Jesus Christ, in my name, amen, amen. Now I got it. <laughs> Even I make mistakes. I'm not perfect either.